gentleman yields back. For what purpose does the gentleman from Tennessee rise? Without objection, so ordered. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The other day it became public that Valerie Harper, the star of Rhoda, was uh, diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. And she publicly uh, went forward with that. And it was very touching. I saw her on the morning news, and she talked about it. And she said that uh, she's doing chemotherapy. She has maybe three months. She doesn't know how much to live. And she said her husband says that if we can slow this thing down, more stuff may come up. They are working fast and furiously for all of us. They're not working for Valerie Harper because she played Rhoda, but they're doing this for all cancer patients. And the people that are doing this for all cancer patients are the doctors and the universities, the scientists that are funded by the National Institute of Health, all of which will get a 5.5% cut in their budget because of the sequestration. This is another example of why it was wrong for us to let the sequestration go into effect and why it's wrong for us not to make cuts that make sense. We need to put more and more dollars for cancer patients, for people with diabetes, people with Alzheimer's, people with AIDS, people with illnesses that can and will be cured, and that if they can stay around for a little longer, they can come up with a cure and save people's lives. We don't need to defund or reduce the funding for the National Institute of Health. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. For what purpose does the gentleman from North Carolina rise? Without objection, so ordered.